Abel Sanchez in part two of the interview with Dante's Boxing Nation, which I'm going to leave in the link in the description, says that Jamal Charlo versus Gennady Golovkin, Triple G, is bad for the sport of boxing. This is your boy CJ Goodfella. We back with the boxing clinic talking that real boxing-ish. And, uh, you know, this this guy's a clown. You know, he already uh, tap dancing around, buck dancing around Jamal Charlo, you know. Saying that now this guy moves up and he he's automatically in control. Well, the WBC and the IBF, which your fighter, you know, Gennady Glefkin has the belt, think he might be, you know, a viable option. Not saying he's in control because he's number three in the IBF. And now he's the number one mandatory to Triple G's WBC belt. And he got some juice behind him with Al Heyman. And Al Heyman can force that fight to happen soon after you beat Triple G. Or, you know, you get a violent, I mean, after you beat Canelo Triple G, you get a voluntary, then he can force it to happen. But, you know, Abel Sanchez tapped Branson around the question, all right? Remember he said that uh, Danny Jacobs' fight was like three or four fights away again, and Danny Jacobs had to earn the right to, to fight Gennady Golovkin again, and it wasn't as close a fight as he thought, you know, most people thought it was. Nah, he's, he, he, he's reneging on that, Abel Sanchez, and saying that, um, oh, the Danny Jacobs fight is bigger than Jamal, the, the Jamal Tarlow fight. There's so many more bigger fights in the middleweight division for Gennady Golovkin. You know, this is this is this is bad for the sport of boxing. And I look at it. Was Dominic Wade bad for the sport of boxing? We had no choice but to fight Dominic Wade. That's bullshit. Curtis Stevens wasn't ranked in the top fifteen when they went, went before he made the deal with Golovkin. They artificially ranked him. So 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 they, they ranking guys to make this guy look better. And y'all y'all eating it up. Oh, Curtis Stevenson was a big knockout punch. Who the fuck did he knock out? Did he knock out Andre Durrell? Did he knock out Jesse Brinkley? You know what I'm saying? You know, Matthew Macklin, you fighting the Matthew Macklin and a mismatch wasn't bad for the sport of boxing? You know, think about it. You know, you 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 fighting Gabriel Rosado wasn't bad for the sport of boxing? You fighting Prosca wasn't bad for the sport of boxing? You know, all, all, the, all the TV time you wasted, you fighting Nishida, you fighting Adamo wasn't bad for the sport of boxing? You know, Abel Sanchez be putting his foot in his mouth, man. All those matchups he fought to the point, even all the matchups he fought besides Danny Jacobs and Martin Murray was a fucking waste of time. It was, and and no no no, I would rather see those fights before I see uh, I would rather see Jamal Charlo before I see any of him any of them other fights. You know he was like yeah the fight with Billy Joe Saunders, um you know because the unification bout and I wanted to see him go for that belt so I agree that's a bigger fight than Jamal Charlo because if he beats Canelo and goes to Billy Joe Saunders WBA, WBO belt. He's an undisputed champion, so obviously that's a bigger fight. Um, you know, he said maybe a rematch with Canelo, and and, and I feel and I feel if he beats Canelo, I think it's going to be about destruction, and I don't think Canelo's going to re- want that rematch. You know, then he goes to Billy Joe Saunders right out there, and then now he wants to talk about the Daniel Jacobs rematch after he was shitting on Danny Jacobs. You know, after the rematch, I'm all it's three or four fights away. Now, now you want to now you want to pump this guy up after you said he didn't he didn't he has to earn the rematch. Uh, not, not that Jamal Charlo is, is on that ass now. You know what I'm saying? He says whatever convenient for their team. And they talking about, uh, you know, he says, well, Jamal Charlo can't just move up and think he runs. They, like Golovkin, you're not a super A side. You're not in the same breath of a Cotto, Marquez, Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, Canelo Alvarez. Why do they think they're the fucking super A side? You are not. You was put 120 k on pay-per-view. You ain't shit. You're not a big star in America. Just because you say big drama show, Mexican show, I want Mexican style. You're not a big star. You know? Not saying Jamal Charlo is, but he, they think they the fucking, you know, Michael Jackson or the Jackson 5 middleweight division. You're not. You're an average personality in the sport in, in America. You can walk down the street and nobody know who the fuck you is, but, you know, just talking that shit, we gone.